They, there's this misconception that he made art at night. He fucking never made art at night. It was all in the daytime. Because yeah. that's when people... It, it's a, um, it, it's a... It's that thing of um, suspension of disbelief. Yeah, so people like... If they see someone in the daytime and they have a high visibility jacket on and they look like they're supposed to be there, they are supposed to be there. And us being English, yeah, it's something people don't want to challenge. It's like, oh, I don't want to look silly by going up and asking them whether they're supposed to be there because that would really embarrass me. It's a different thing with him though. It's not a team of 50 people. Mm -hmm. Like it may have changed over the years. I don't know what the setup is now. I can only talk about the setup was like when I was there. So, you know, you had someone working on the PR you had someone like me doing the kind of organisational bits in the sales. Mm -hmm. You had someone helping him with the design, like the computer shit that he needed to do. And normally like one assistant helping him with the paintings. That was pretty much it. Mm. And then the, you had a bigger crew of people you could pull on. Say we were doing one of the street drops, the, like the sculptures. So then we had a set of people that we draw on to do the lorry and everything else. So, you know, but you're talking about really a maximum size crew of kind of, you, you know, the core crew would have been five, six people maximum.